Sorry, sorry. I'm carried away <laughs> in the blues. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to All About the Bass. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Today oh, is all about normal size basses that I make look normal size. <laughs> 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 then at the end, this is it. We, yeah, we thought, what is it about? What is it about? Today, it's about short scale. Short scale. And yeah, just everything, everything short scale. Why would you want one? Should you want one? What, uh, how different do they feel to normal bases? Yeah, so. totally. Yeah, just really sort of seeing what we've got Pros in stock. And cons. Yeah, give you a bit of an overview of what it is all about. So um, yeah, you know, saying that, yeah, you're saying about for that's one one advantage <laughs> can be if you are a slightly smaller stature. You know, obviously bases are one of the bigger, longer instruments yep. when they are normally sort of long scale, as it were. So. 34 inches compared to these, which will be about 30 around that. So yeah. really does take quite a bit off. So um, yeah, it should be, make it a little bit easier for anyone that's slightly smaller or slightly younger. Yep. Um, if you're just starting, you know. So yeah, beginners, be. really good for beginners. Uh, also, if you've got arthritis in your hands or anything, Great less show. bigger stretches. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, so yeah smaller spacing, yeah, absolutely. And, and with that though, with creating a slightly smaller scale instrument as well, you do get a, different reaction from the bass, different yeah. sound. So different feel on the strings are a lot oh, more slinky. It is a lot easier actually. <laughs> just, just over five minutes with this, and I know we had a little play around with this last time and I fell in love and um, not the easiest to, to play, but the sound is beautiful and and I can really feel that straight away. Just yeah. everything's slightly dinkier and you don't have to think or stretch too much, you know. So <laughs> yeah. so yeah, what this lovely bass you've got here. Just we'll quickly through, just I'm talk really through. I'm really impressed with this. This is the first time you've played it as well. <laughs> yeah. It? Yeah, so that's the, the Sire U5. I didn't even know these existed until today. They're pretty new. I think they've only been around a couple of years. I think it's yeah. something that they uh, yeah, introduced pretty recently. But It literally um, is like a top end bass in a miniature form. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it before. It's pretty stunning. I mean, I've had 400 pounds I think these are as well, you know. Yeah. But, uh, Sire known for putting a lot into their instruments for not a lot yep. of money, um, but yeah, that's a perfect example of that. Definitely, yeah. it feels great to play. Does um, it? Yeah. Weirdly, despite being quite a small person, I started on regular size bases, and I tend to air towards them. Yeah. But that's just a personal preference thing. Yeah, yeah. But these are great for a kind of if you want a fresh perspective on things or that different sound, a slinkier feel under your fingers on the strings, stuff yeah. like that. They're a great alternative. Absolutely. Yeah, and actually you saying that, like I don't think I was aware when I was learning, I don't think I was really aware of short scale, or no one really told yeah. me when I went into a first shop of like, you know, well, you are 11 or whatever, you know, maybe you should <laughs> yeah. maybe give this a go. But yeah, I, I'm the same as you, where it's just, you no, know, I was always from a like yeah. standard long scale, so I sort of just put up with it. But, yeah. and I'm quite lanky, look at me, you know, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, so uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of get around it all right. but. But now it's really been experienced, mostly doing these videos over the years and being involved with the shop yeah. with, that actually has a bit of a selection. And you, you really do start going through, oh, actually, I could, I could really benefit from this or, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so there is a bit of selection. We've got the lovely Mustang just here, the lovely Warwick Corvette just there. All shorts go all about 30 inches and you've got the little Sterling Stingray. So if, if you prefer a particular type of sound, really, and obviously it's yeah. a bit more modern, these are like classic, obviously Stingray. That's a passive bass as well, so more of a, a, a jazz, you know, special kind of sound. Then this one, the Gibson, is a little bit more bassy. It really is, this yeah, giant, it's very warm. yeah, giant neck pickup sounds huge. Um, but yeah, all around, yeah, same, same sort of sizes, different monies, different qualities here. I, th I think this is the most expensive out of these ones, but is you know, it? yeah, I wow. think so. I don't think it's too much though, actually, for a for Gibson as well, you know, I think it's about 1300, 1400, I think around there. Yeah. Um, so, and then starting from about, from this one, I think 399. So- Is this the cheapest? That is the, from what, yeah. <laughs> from what I remember, I think it then wow. goes here and then here and then here, I think. But, but oh yeah, by the way, specs all below, you know, for full details, cause we won't be running through every little minute detail with these. So please look below. Um, and while you're down there, like the video, 
subscribe. And subscribe. Click the little bell. And you could win. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> You could win a centaur, so just subscribe, get yourself on the list, and it doesn't matter how long you've been a subscriber, you're in the hat, right? So, get involved. So, the other thing was, yeah, so much experience with short scale bases before? Not no? particularly, no, no okay. but I've got a, an old Tysco satellite piccolo base. Ooh, oh, lovely. Again, that's a really unique sounding instrument, I haven't got another bass that sounds like it, and every so often if you're recording a song or you're playing on someone else's song, and there's a specific sound that you need, it's like, ah. Yeah. They're always a really good option to have, and it's a good thing to have in your arsenal as well. And portability. Good, yeah, oh, <laughs> they are so, there's hardly anything to them. It's, it's quite yeah. nice, it really does take a bit of weight out as well. And, and yeah, the size as well. And we were just doing a little bit of digging on the history before we, when we started, and it's a little bit, con wait, contended? Is that, no, wait, contentious? Contentious? I'm bad with words, but words. I think hopefully you know what I'm on together. But <laughs> the bass players. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit fought over the history of who made the first short scale, basically. You know, so there was a bit of history there about in the 30s, uh, a company called AudioVox bringing out uh, um, apparently one of the short, first ever short scale and little amp to go with it as like a little combo released on the market. Um, I, I thought it was out of the big boys, either Fender yeah, or Gibson. Yeah, I did. Just uh, it, it, my own history, but it looks like yeah, they did do some mass-produced stuff pretty early on, but there were some people getting involved. Got in there first. Yeah. Yeah. But I think mass production, I think this came out in the 50s, so a, or a version of this, so the, the Gibson EBO, like the SG. Not sure if it was an SG shape at that point. We're thinking maybe it was more of a Les Paul, I think, if you read up. But um, So this was in the 50s, and again, mass-produced, I think it was the Mustang bass really, at the time when the Mustang came out as well, the guitar version, mid-60s. That's where they really got a bit pushed, pushed a bit more as yeah. it were as an option I for students. I love them as well. <laughs> that is wicked, isn't it? <laughs> that colour always gets me as well. I know. Those oranges are really, really nice. So, yeah, that's more harping back to the old school. These are kind of new versions of. So, uh, but yeah, I t definitely what you're saying there, it gives you a different feel, different sound, you know, and I'd like to actually compare, see if we've got something in here. Yeah. Um, we'll possibly do that in a bit, but just to compare like this to another, you know, uh, passive full scale sire exactly, just to see yeah. if it does sound any different but um but it's quite amazing it's really something you do, do have to experience yourself if you can yeah. get and sort of it's all in the feel of these things really more than the sound it is a, they've got a certain vibe that no, no other full scale bass actually has yeah it's a really unique feeling thing totally it's difficult to describe but if you ever get the chance to try one and you haven't you definitely should it's the way it is and I, my feeling was always without actually trying a few was like oh it's going to be a bit tinny or like it's going to yeah. sound thin I, I think i've had the opposite with with a lot of these in the past where it's like oh wait 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 wait, this is fuller it yeah. sounds bigger i but, found that as well yeah and i don't know if that is well what's this the only main difference so much to do with the scale <laughs> length but i think because it's a little bit looser the string gets a little bit more Vibration, possibly this is just me making it up now, to be honest. <laughs> but I, that's what I picture, yeah. you know, like, it's just a little bit more give in the string, yeah. a little bit more resonance, but. Could make sense, to be honest. That's what you take, I'm making it up. You tell us, there'll be someone out there that knows, knows Is perfectly. the science correct? Yes, is it? You never question the science, don't know, so just don't get down there. Right? <laughs> um, so, should we give some people some tones, shall we? Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. do you wanna, oh, CC has an amazing pedal board here, making some <laughs> amazing, amazing sounds, so. Yeah, you, you go for it, go for go it. Go on then, yeah. I'll, I'll move through each of these dials. Yeah, cool. But I never actually looked up what they do. <laughs> this is it, <laughs> now it should be, just to give you, it's, I think it should be volume, volume, tone. Big, isn't it? And yeah. it's like, it just, I was trying to think then, if I'm not looking at what you're playing, obviously I know what you're playing short yeah. scale bass, but could I actually tell if I didn't see what you were playing? I'm not too sure if I could, but um, uh, but th it does, it sounds huge, doesn't it? Well, I thought I'd just mention the amps as well, because these are some lovely amps we're using. The GK Neo series, some combos and a 
head and cam over here, but they sound crisp as anything they in the do. room as well. So um, yeah, like lovely. Zero frequencies missing. Oh, totally. Yeah, again, everything. And this might come across a little bit different. So um, with say chunky humbucker in the neck, nice little mini humbucker in the bridge. So yeah, you can get some really punchy. I think we tried this last time where it was, you get just neck pick up off. Like all the punch. Sounds great. Sounds like, I'd say I like the jazz bass. So it's like those kind of tones, but like if we just go swoop to the neck pick up, tone off. There's like a sub frequency there that you know <laughs> I, I don't you don't normally hear from I sub from long long scale bass or maybe I've just not found the right long scale bass maybe you can maybe. you know I'm just hearing it on this but I think it is a thing that they, they do you know so it does the same mid range thing as the guitars. <clears throat> It doesn't yeah. really. I, I, that's what it sounds like to me. Okay, okay, yeah, because I've never been too much of an SG guitar fan, to be honest. I've never really, I'm more of Les Paul if I play him, but that's interesting, you see. So there we go. The, obviously, the body design as well, shape, mahogany, the actual choices, I think that's obviously doing something as well. So love it, love it. And I mean, we talked about this last time as well. This is, it's cool to see, because like this is uh, these giant humbuckers. You know, I don't know if this picks up from everywhere. I don't, I wouldn't throw it as, <laughs> probably it's just these poles, but. Um, apparently Billy Sheehan put one of these in his P-Bass. Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah, yeah. he's like old school P-Bass. So he's got like all the neck pickups and nothing really down the bridge. Yeah. He loves that real warmth sound, warm sound. So uh, yeah, again, you can, you can mod things if you, if you need to, but yeah, this is just seeing that reminded me of Billy's, Billy's story. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, lovely. So any, any cons? Any cons? We've, we've talked about a few of the pros, you know, if it's... Yeah, I, but, I would say one, if you're more used to playing full scale basses, then might, you might feel a little bit crammed in. Yeah, yeah. But you soon overcome that. But if you've got chunkier fingers already, that might become an issue. I wouldn't really know, but I can see that be, becoming a potential problem. You could shout, yeah, but, you might sort of trip over yourself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, especially bit as tired. you get up the high end if you play up that way. Yeah, yeah, good shout. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really, yeah, really good point. I was trying to think of other any other like cons, but it really is. It's just yeah, if it doesn't work for your yeah. playing style, then maybe it's not for you. But if you can adapt and like like we're doing now, it's right. It doesn't take long, does it? Just to get yeah. used to like okay, now this is what we're doing now. This is the you know this is the where I am instead of just that little bit extra room where yeah. you're aiming for the F as it were, and it's, it's down here a bit further. I suppose but, the only other thing I can really think of, which is not necessarily going to be a very widespread problem. No, no, no. But uh, less frets equals certain things you might want to play. You might not necessarily have enough frets. Great show. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, other than right. that, yeah. I can't really think of anything. It's no, no. This is and especially with I, I was just blown out of the water with the sound. Um, if it's not that thin thing that I was expecting, like initially, then it was like, oh wow, this is just a whole new world to to kind of explore and. Personally, I haven't got one. I haven't got any short scale basses, but it's definitely something that's um, like something like this. I can see it as a normal jazz bass player, where I'm mm. normally used to that kind of sound. I'd want something completely different yeah. if, I, if I, you know, to get away from that. So I think it would be something like this, where it's just, yeah, a little bit alien to me when I'm used to the nice yeah. little single chords. But just to get that sound, you know, like I, I can't find that. And try to tone on. There it, is, like it's natural, really nice. Natural sound, right? And yeah, no, I'm sort of blown away. I don't think they've, they've done this for a little while. Sorry. I don't think this, this has been in the range for, for a little bit. I think this is quite new for these last couple of years. Every now and then they bring a version back. But, um, but yeah, it's originally out in the 50s and still going strong. Different versions of as well, you see. Fretless versions and versions without that pickup. <laughs> don't think there's any versions without that, but yeah. Um, some lovely, lovely tones. But I don't Absolutely. think... We'll leave these beauties just for you for, as eye candy, as it were. Admire. Totally. And obviously these will do different things. So if you're more of a Warwick fan and you're used to those kind of neck profiles or vice versa, Fender. Stingray and player. Totally. Oh, obviously this is a very unique sound. <laughs> so if you want to, you know, keep your Stingray sound, but be, make it easier for you to play, you know, absolutely. 
check it'd out it'd be Gen interesting to hear how different that sounds to a full length one should we do oh great <laughs> shout maybe oh, yes this is something we should maybe do. Maybe we should do a comparison video with all of these at some stage. Tell us if you'd like to see that, or maybe you just don't want to see it, you know? Maybe it's <laughs> like, no, 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 we don't want that. But if you would like us to, yeah, put that together, right? Just find some jazz basses or a side jazz, put it against this, put it against a full scale Warwick, full scale Music Man, we could do yeah. that. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some stock, so let us know. And Leave also it in the let us know what you think the pros and cons are to these. Do you like short scale basses yeah. or are you not a fan? Totally. What did you find tripped you up or helped you? Yeah, yeah, and if there's anything that here that you think, say, that you find as, like I say, or a pro or a con that, you haven't, that we haven't found, say, as there's some people out there that just solely play but sold short scale basses, yeah. you know, like, and they will not, not differ from that. So let us know, please do. We'd love to hear what you think. I don't think there's much more to say, is I there? I don't think so either. I think is there? Covered everything I can think of on these. This is it, you know. Apart from going into detail on it, but but we've done this before, and it's really to give you guys an idea if this might be something to look at, you know. So um, and we have plenty in stock, as you can see. So come on down if you're near Guildford. If you're near Guildford, oh, my words are going. My words are <laughs> if going. You're if you're near Guildford. Guildford. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thanks for joining us. Thank thanks you. For us. It's been all about the base. We'll see you soon. Ta-ta. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>